Hello aspiring civil and structural engineers. So welcome to the series of knowledge which is exclusively launched for fresher civil and structural design engineers. If you are in college, if you are still in first, second, third or fourth year engineering or if you are a diploma student or even MTech student who is a fresher then this series would be helpful for you. In this series which is exclusively designed for freshers, we are touching all those topics which are general topics and also asked in many technical interview rounds. This series will also give you insights about how you should prepare in order to enter in this line in a core technical job. This series is also supported with live webinars with Mr. Sandeep Pingle. So stay tuned to this channel for the live webinar series which will give you in-depth knowledge about many core technical topics of civil and structural engineering. So let's get started with today's video. Today's topic is different types of support conditions in structural engineering and as a structural engineer where to use it. In structural engineering there are several types of support conditions that can be used to stabilize and control the movement of structure. The type of support conditions used depends on several factors including the type of structure, the load it will be subjected to and the required level of stability. Now let's see some of the common types of support conditions. The first one is fixed support. This type of support restricts all six degrees of freedom, three translations and three rotations of the structure at the support point. Fixed support are used in structures where no movement or rotation is allowed such as tall buildings, bridges and large steel structures. The next one is hinged support. This type of support restricts movement in all the directions except one rotation. Hinge supports are used in structures where one end needs to be free to rotate such as in arches, trusses and cantilever structures. The next one is Roller support. This type of support restricts movements in only one direction, allowing the structure to move freely in all other direction. Roller support are commonly used in bridges and other structures where thermal expansion and contraction need to be accommodated. Now let's look at the next type of support which is pinned support. This type of support is similar to a hinge support but has a greater degree of freedom. Pinned supports are commonly used in trusses and frames where stability and flexibility are required. Now next one is sliding support. This type of support restricts movement in all directions except one translation. Sliding supports are used in structures where one end needs to slide freely such as in expansion joints of bridges. The selection of support conditions depends on the specific requirement of the project including type of structure, the load it will be subjected to and the level of stability and flexibility required. As a structural engineer it is important to be carefully able to analyze the structure and its loads to determine the appropriate support conditions to ensure the safety and stability of the structure. Whatever I told you in this particular video is just tip of the iceberg. This is just a small guidelines or something to give you an idea about what kind of topics you should be familiar with if you would like to make career as a structural design engineer. To understand and learn these topics in depth at practical level in hands on on the job learning then stay tuned to our channel because we are conducting many core technical live webinars with Mr. Sandeep Pingle to give you complete in-depth guidance so that you can start your career as a structural design engineer successfully in India or abroad. Thank you very much.